Napoleon Dynamite Cast, Then and Now. Napoleon Dynamite tells the story of a socially awkward teenager named Napoleon Dynamite, who becomes friends with a new student and helps him to win the class presidency while dealing with his bizarre family, including his 32-year-old brother Kip. Napoleon, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Who spends more than half of his day cruising chat rooms in search of hot babes. This film was highly successful and was even voted number 14 on Bravo's 100 Funniest Movies and has a huge fan base because of how relatable it was. Did you know it was made on a small budget of only $400,000? Today, we are going to be looking at some of the main actors in this film and what they've been up to since it was released in 2004. Seeing that most of the actors were young at the time, we are dying to know what they have been doing for the past 16 years. But before we continue, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Haley Duff Haley Duff was cast as the popular, proud, and snobby girl, Summer Wheatley. You're here today? I don't think so. Why? Haley Duff was cast as the popular, proud, and snobby girl, Summer Wheatley. We first saw her when Pedro asks her to be his dance partner, and of course, she refused. She was the incumbent class president whom Pedro was running against, and she sure didn't go down without a fight. Duff's role as Summer Wheatley was her first role in a feature film, and her excellent performance instantly made her a celebrity and earned her her first Teen Choice Award. She went on to star in several other movies and TV shows, including Fear Island, What the hell does that say? This is evil. Slightly Single in L.A. No. And Tug. She was also a voice actor in the animated film Food Fight, which was released in 2012. She appeared in Material Girls with her sister Hilary Duff, and was even credited as a co-producer. Haley also has a singing career with numerous singles, mainly with her sister, and runs a blog named Real Girls Kitchen, which she started in 2012, and a fashion line for children called Little Moon Society. Now 35, Haley is engaged to Matt Rosenberg, and together they have two daughters. John Grise. John played the role of Rico Dynamite, Napoleon's super annoying uncle who tried his best to make Napoleon's life miserable. He came to live with Napoleon after his grandmother had an accident so that he could keep an eye on Napoleon. He is very flirtatious, but is still trying to get over his recent breakup. He also has an eye for quick money schemes and treats Napoleon like a child. He started acting at the age of 11 and made a name for himself with roles in films like Real Genius, Rainbow Drive, Martin, and Rundown. <laughs> Before landing a role in Napoleon Dynamite. We don't know why, but Grise has been cast as a werewolf in several movies, such as The Monster Squad, and played the role of John D. Lee, an executed murderer in September Dawn. His most recent role was in the 2018 film Glass Jaw, and before that, All About the Money and Americans, both in 2017. Aaron Ruel. Ruel was cast as Kiplin Dynamite, also known as Kip. He is Rico's friend who teamed up with Rico in a quick money scheme by selling some items door to door in order to raise enough money to visit his internet girlfriend, La Fonda. Ruel hasn't been in the acting scenes so much. His role as Kip was in fact his debut role. He has appeared in a few other movies including Think Tank and The Problem with Percival in 2006 and the television show Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go. in 2005, where he played the role of Supa. He is now an accomplished director and photographer, and was named one of the most promising new directors in advertising by Shoot Magazine in 2009. He has directed commercials for several big names, including Coke and Burger King. Now 44, he and his wife Yuka reside in Portland, Oregon. Tina Majorino. Tina Majorino was portrayed as Deborah Bradshaw, whom everyone called Deb. Deb was one of Napoleon's closest friends, a shy girl with a knack for business. And here we have some boondoggle keychains. I must have in this season's fashion. She ran several business ventures to raise money for college during the film. 
Majorino had a brief career as a child actor from 1992 to 1999, where she took a break after playing Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Her role in Napoleon Dynamite was her big return to the acting scenes, and since then, she has appeared in a ton of feature films and television shows including Bones, Raising Hope, and Grey's Anatomy. She has been active in both film and television, but recently switched to television, with her most recent being the American horror series, Into the Dark. Efren Ramirez Ramirez was cast Pedro Sanchez, the bold and calm transfer student who is best friends with Napoleon Dynamite. He ran for class president against Summer Wheatley and won, despite the opposition, because of the support he got from Napoleon. Ramirez has enjoyed a super successful career, appearing in several big budget films such as When in Rome, Casa de Mi Padre, Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life, and most recently, Trafficked and Mad Families in 2017. He is also a very popular DJ and has performed all over the world, touring more than 50 cities in five continents. John Heater Heater was cast as the man himself, Napoleon Dynamite, the socially awkward teenager who goes all out to support his friend Pedro, helping him to win the election, even if it meant learning to dance and performing in front of everybody. Heater became a huge success after the film was released, and in 2005, he received the MTV Movie Award for his performance in the film, alongside a Teen Choice Award and several other nominations. He has been kept busy since then with a barrage of film roles in several other big-budget films. You might remember his role as Jimmy McElroy in Blades of Glory in 2007. Before that, he played Clark Reedy in The Benchformers. He even voiced the character Chicken Joe in Surf's Up 2, Wave Mania, in 2017. Joe. Joe's it's long for Joe. Hey. In 2020, he played the role of Jimmy in the movie Tremors, Shrieker Island. Now 43 years old, he has been married to Kirsten Bales since 2002, and together they have four children. They currently live in Santa Clarita, California. It was recently cited that John Heater is still open to returning for Napoleon Dynamite 2, he has been quoted as saying he is interested in revisiting the character for a sequel if director Jared Hess can pull off the magic again. How awesome would that be? And there it is, Napoleon Dynamite then and now. And there it is, Napoleon Dynamite then and now. Which of these actors then and now shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Can you believe there could potentially be a sequel to this great movie? We'll certainly keep our ears to the ground on that. We'll certainly keep our ears to the ground on that. The Napoleon Dynamite movie was a surprise hit upon release in 2004, after being bought by MTV and Paramount for distribution after debuting at Sundance. Well, that's all for today. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.